Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today, I'm not going to show you guys anything. Instead, I'm going to explain a goofy little story my son was telling me. He says, hey dad, you know, I was on the computer and I seen this guy. He's way better than you as far as plastering. And I thought, I said, dude, there's no glory in being the best. Then I thought about it. I said, okay, you see, you know that belt I always wear. Here's your trophy for being the best, guys. You get one of these right here. This is for being the best. How did I end up with wearing a back brace? Because for years I was union, and I'd always say, who's the best Derby man, for example? And I'd get, i work working behind a pump, and I'd pull the mud up. After they shoot it on the wall, I would pull it up. Now, I did that for years, I, and when you pull the mud up, it's like pulling up about, 50 pounds. You do it over and over and over, year after year. It's like taking a sledgehammer, hitting a piece of wood. It jacks up your spine. That's why I got this belt. So I said, why is this guy so much better anyway? Uh, because, again, I know many guys who are better than us. What I like to be, what I want to be remembered as is somebody who does it right, does it right the first time. He says, well, he had us trial, and he was spinning a hawk on it. I said, dude... We were doing that 30 years ago. I mean, we used to do that stuff as apprentices. And so I thought I'd show you guys. This is kind of goofy and it's way off what I generally do, but I thought it's kind of humorous because we used to do this. Say, for example, you find a, a hawk. Okay. Now, these hawks are beat up. If I drop these, I mean, <laughs> see all that stuff falling off them? They're full of mud. Uh, what you need is a good hawk. Say, for example, uh, and you need a sharp trowel. You get a trowel like this. You find yourself a hawk. This one is clean. This is one of my hawks. I clean it often. Uh, it could be cleaner. You find the center of it. You find the center of gravity. Uh, usually right underneath that handle. And you just spin it. Spin it, guys. It's not a big deal. I mean, I told myself, I said, you're, you're talking about this. This is what makes somebody better than me. You must be kidding me. Back when we were a union, I had my buddy Fred Smith. He was so good. He'd take two trials, one in each hand, and he'd throw it straight up and catch it on the other one, spinning just like this, just like that. And he'd catch it on the other side. Now that is what I consider good. Uh, I mean, you could use anything, a nail, a pointer trial. This guy here, as long as it's got a sharp edge, it'll spin if you can hold it right in the center of gravity. Since my buddy Fred Smith was better than me and he would hold it longer, one day I went to the job and I said, well, Fred, can you do this while spinning it? And he says, oh man, you know I don't work those things and I, I'm watching it spin and I'm keeping an eye on it. Say, for example, woo, keep an eye on it, keep it spinning. I'm going to try that again. Keep an eye on that guy, hold it dead center and say, like what I was doing is, I would spin these and I'd go, I was trying to top old Fred. And I said, well, can you do that, Fred? But anyway, this is union stuff. I got a thousand things like this we used to do. So if you're going to impress your friends, guys, if that's all it takes, here's a tip. Get it dead center, dead center. Make sure it's dead center. And you know what? I can do this with a basketball too. I learned the secret with a basketball. You gotta have big hands. You gotta grab the ball, put it on your finger, and spin it. My hands weren't big enough at one time. I could never do that, but you spin it just right. You get a dead center, and guys, you can do that stuff all day long. Say so you get get a trial. You just kind of find where you think it is, and if it ain't there, it ain't there. But you get it spinning. I thought, I was showing my son Dan yesterday, I said, dude, this is it. That doesn't make anybody a good plasterer. But I got a kick out of it. I mean, we'd hold it. Let me see if I can hold it even when it stops. It's, it's just a matter. That doesn't make you a great plasterer. Anyway, my name is Kirk. I thought I'd point that out, guys, because it was real cute that somebody so young who thought, that's how you, that's your yardstick for measuring somebody as far as their abilities. Give me the ability to do it right the first time and get paid and not get a call back, instead get referral, that's pure skill. Anyway, my name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. We're just messing around here. Why? 
because I'm bored. So um, we thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. one.